What's up people, how are you guys doing today? Welcome to the vlog of Growing Whips. Today is the day I'm going to be installing a cabin air filter on Map 30. So, this video was supposed to, uh, this, was, this video was actually supposed to be on uh, Alfa Romeo. But we're going to install the catless downpipe on the car. And as you guys already know, we're going to tune that car. So we had to install it and uh, we already did the thing taking everything. So I couldn't really, I couldn't really do the uh, down pipe on the car because in order to do the down pipe on that car you need to uh, drain the coolant and do a lot of work and it was like you need to be done from professionals I couldn't really do it myself so we're gonna get that done from professionals so meanwhile I don't really have a content to make a video of so I decided to just install my cam filter and make a video out of it might as well so first I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move out the car because it's parked to that side and the cabin filters on the passenger side so I'm gonna have to move the car in the middle So now I have uh, more room to work on the filter. So it's actually a pretty easy job. So only thing that you're basically gonna need is a 10 mil and a ratchet and a T25 I would say. And uh, obviously the filter. So first what we're gonna do is, uh, it's actually kinda hard. Let me see if I could. Camera down here. All right, so after you got your tools together, uh, first thing you're basically gonna need is use your towel 10 millimeter and there's one screw right here You can see it and then then it's gonna be another screw right here So open those up and then you put your hands right here and this thing right here You'll feel the you know the separation. Let me see if I could get you a little better light Maybe that works. Yeah Whoa. Works like a charm And there it is see you can see the, the screw right here, uh, right here. the one screw, and there's another one on this side, then the second, those two screws that are 10 millimeter, and after you open those screws up, then you just put your hands right here, and then just pull this thing down, and then make sure before you pull it all the way down, there's you gotta open this light up, and the, the plug, the plug that goes in, I don't know, most of people don't know about that plug, but yeah, there's a plug. So open that up and then I'll show you what's next. So before I started working on 
the filter down there so I'll just show you real quick see there's these clips right here that one clip and then the second clip right there and see this is the rear charging port and the light they're not that hard you'll see them and after just put this aside put this thing outside and then let's get started with the filter all right after you take out the cover from the bottom this is your wires another wires right here and then don't worry about those I don't know why I pointed those out. I'm sorry it's a little dark here, but I'm using my phone as light. I hope you can see it better. So see this? This is a clip right here. This this one clip, and then there's another one in the back. It's right here. And this is a screw that you're gonna be opening up. I believe this is T25, but uh, I'm gonna check it out real quick. Yeah, so open that screw up, then there's another one, and open that up, and then this is where your filter is and I'm gonna do that and then just put the new filter in and that's how you do the cam filter, it's pretty easy. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Loud. All right, guys. So I actually got the filter. As you can tell, let me get out real quick. And the, you know, see, the filter is actually pretty dirty. And after they got dirty, it started to stink. And, yep, it's better to change them every year. Most of people don't change them ever, but yeah. I change mine every year, so I usually, I just usually go to uh, BMW uh, outside from aftermarket. I don't go to BMW. See, this is the filter that I bought. This one actually just colored in the gray color, so you can't really tell the difference, but yeah. This filter is actually kind of dirty. So what you do basically is, you just put this back in there and you work your way back. And this is it, this is how you change the filter. This is actually the same way that how you do it on the F30, F30, F80, F82, F32, all those other BMW, most of them are the same. So this video could help a lot of people. So thank you so much for watching. If you really enjoyed the video and if you uh, got any help from the video, make sure you like, subscribe because there's going to be a lot of other videos, a lot of other videos that's going to be on the channel for, for the BMW. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.